Yo, what is up guys, so for today we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2, now specifically we're gonna be reviewing the new Nightfall weapons. I know I haven't reviewed the old ones, uh, mostly because I honestly didn't forget, it was just kind of like I kept planning it and planning it and it never happened, but I will be reviewing them just so I can give you my thoughts on that, but we're gonna be reviewing these mostly because there's one weapon in this hope list that I, I love a lot, it's one of my favorite weapons from Destiny 1 which is hung jury obviously so we're gonna get to hung jury uh we're gonna talk about all the weapons i was kind of tempted to do the whole thing in one one fell swoop but i want to do the new ones first and then the old ones later mostly because again the new ones are new so let's talk about plug one which is a precision frame fusion rifle it's an arc fusion rifle as well i don't really care about this weapon i have no emotional attachment to this mostly because i don't remember it off the top of my head but let's talk about the perks real quick so first, first and foremost it's gonna be feeding frenzy heating up under pressure bottomless grief killing wind and quick drop for the first row for the second row it's gonna be reservoir burst cornered adrenaline junkie kickstart backup plan and thresh so I actually don't even remember what perks I got on mine. I have one with Quick Draw and Adrenaline Junkie, and I have another one with Cornered and I think Under Pressure if I remember correctly. I'll have it on the screen right now. I have two of them if I remember correctly. And yeah, it's a, it's a cool fusion rifle, but it's a fusion rifle. I think this would be a better version of the, uh, the new seasonal weapon, the Pursuit weapon, uh, Null Composure. Just because this one does have reservoir burst but it also comes with some other cool ones like bottomless grief would be pretty cool because it does bump your magazine on top of like having uh, a battery that gives you more more ammo you could probably get your ammo really really high uh with reservoir burst as well or you could probably do like kickstart which gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration which is pretty cool um I think that's it though like cornered is not that cool in my opinion if i could if i could pair this with like backup plan that would be pretty cool but you can't uh, adrenaline junkie would probably be the other one that you would probably choose uh backup plan kind of sucks and thresh would probably be pretty good for like a warlock actually no because uh this is arc so never mind so for pvp probably like killing wind and reservoir burst or adrenaline junkie or kickstart actually and uh yeah this was pretty cool i have no like no strong opinions about this weapon mostly because like it's not like it's a fusion rifle fusion rifles aren't that great right now so yeah let's talk about the next weapon which is hung jury sr4 this weapon has a lot of cloud in destiny one like a lot of clout because again this weapon was used by a lot of people including myself back in d1 and it's good for a reason it was a lot of fun back in destiny 1 and unfortunately it did not translate well in destiny 2 it's not that great that being said though it's mostly because scout rifles are pretty bad uh it could it could be a lot of things it could be the fact that the weapons just don't have that great of a ttk it may be the fact that you know the maps are really bad there's not a lot of really long maps we had a lot of them taken out in destiny 2 so we don't have a lot of long maps we usually have just like really short range maps which is another reason why shotguns and cqc is a really big problem in destiny 2 because the map design is so bad uh it could i could tell i could i could literally talk about this for hours but essentially scout rifles are not that great right now but it's a precision frame this weapon recoil pattern is more predictable vertical or whatever whatever it I, this one hurts me to, to really review because i have two pairs of this if i remember correctly i have uh one with moving target and explosive payload i have one with bottomless grief and explosive payload and i have one with surplus and box breathing that one being probably the pvp god rule it's just that this weapon just does not it's not good like really like that's really it bro i didn't get one with firefly unfortunately so i'm still gonna go grind for that rapid hit and firefly hit uh, combo just because why not i was thinking about subsistence and firefly maybe the explosion does give you more ammo from subsistence we'll see but 
yeah, this let's talk. Okay, so let's talk about the perks now that I'm talking about it. Subsistence, rapid hit, moving target, hitting, uh, heating up, bottomless grief, and surplus for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be explosive payload, one for all, firefly, adrenaline junkie, box breathing, and wellspring. So again, for PvP, you're going to want box breathing with pretty much whatever you want here. Surplus is pretty good because it increases your handling, reload, and stability for each fully charged ability. Uh, but I would say like heating up, moving target, rapid hit would be pretty good. For PvE, you're going to want like subsistence, uh, moving target, or not moving target, I'm sorry. You, you're going to want like subsistence, uh, rapid hit. Uh, bottomless brief is pretty good because not only do you get a bump in your magazine, but you also get the increase of like while you're la the last living member of your fire team, each final blow refills your magazine. That's pretty cool. Uh, surplus is pretty good as well. Like for the next row, like one for all, firefly, adrenaline junkie. That's that's it. Like really. So PvP box breathing hands out for sure. But it's just unfortunate that scouts are like. Uh, shit they're dog shit so like why would you ever use this when you can use literally anything else uh maybe if we get like longer maps and just maps that are like designed for like scout rifles and pretty much that type of range then yeah sure like it'd be cool but we're never gonna get that because we're in just a close quarters combat type we're a close quarter type we're a close quarter type game now apparently some reason Bungie doesn't want to make bigger maps even though that's literally what we need like we need a variety and we can talk about that for hours but so, yeah unfortunately hung jury is just dog shit now and i didn't want it to come back because i knew it was going to be bad when i heard it was coming back i was like yo that's cool until i realized scout rifles are shit and now i'm just like great <sighs> shadow of its former self dope the next, the last one is going to be Uzumi RR4, which is a sniper rifle that is a solar sniper rifle, so it's pretty cool. Uh, adaptive frame, so I don't know how I feel about that yet, considering there's another sniper that has the exact same roles that I want. So, first and foremost, let's go, go through the perks, and then I'll explain my thought process of why I just said that. So, triple tap, clown cartridge, bottomless grief, left from gold, snapshot sights, and killing wind for the first one. Second row is going to be Explosive Payload, Corporal Weapon, High Impact Reserves, Adrenaline Junkie, Demolitionist, and Dragonfly. So I ended up getting a Triple Tap and Dragonfly roll, which is the roll that I do not want to get. I want to get Triple Tap with Corporal Weapon. That is the actual roll that I want. I may go for a Triple Tap and High Impact Reserves maybe, but at the end of the day, I'm I'm literally just going to be trying to go for a Triple Tap and Corporal Weapon because that's going to be a really good role for solo players which is what i am but the problem is that frozen orbit which is the crucible playlist weapon one of them that one drops with the exact same role uh triple tap and vocal weapon the only difference is that frozen orbit is an uh, uh what is it an aggressive if i remember correctly yeah so Frozen Orbit is an aggressive frame, and it drops with Triple Tap and Vorpal. The only problem is that that list is fucking long. For me to get not only Triple Tap, but Vorpal Weapon, on top of getting a mag uh, that I actually need, like Tactical Mag or Appended Mag, if I remember correctly, because I think Extended Mag doesn't help, uh, because my whole, my whole thought process is... I want to get I want to get this weapon and at least get five bullets in that so that way I can at least have like what is it seven or eight shots without reloading uh Uzumi already has four ma four rounds in the magazine that's pretty cool so if you if I get tactical mag or pendant mag then I'll have what five and then with backup mag I'll have six <sighs> my only problem is the fact that the aggressive is going to be doing more damage because it's an aggressive frame it does more damage uh but it's also the fact that do i even want to get like the uh the adept version of the uzumi because he, at that point i i think i think uh i think backup plan has an extra like even more backup plan where it backup plan backup mag <laughs> the backup mag the adept mag backup mag i think gives you two rounds so like i'd be i'd be able to get like six or seven pieces of ammo from that maybe like uh 
but yeah so seven ammo at that point was like would that be worth it or like it's just so many questions and like i don't know if i want to farm for that because again triple tap and vorpal from all of this is already gonna be annoying like running running a, a, a nightfall a grandmaster nightfall for it i just don't know if like i give a shit like enough of a shit to do that or just get grab a normal azumi and then just farm for the triple tap and vorpal and then just kind of be like whatever i don't have an extra bullet for it like there's a lot of questions i have for izumi but like it's the one that i'm more most interested in because like plug one i'm never gonna go for the adept why would i hung jury definitely never gonna go for the adept like why fucking would i izumi is like the only one where it's like going for the adept might actually be very much worth it because you'll be getting an extra bullet if the backup mag does give you the extra bullet if not then i don't really care because like i don't care about the the boost in the stats like what the fuck ever dog i don't really care especially since this is just gonna be a pve weapon i'm not gonna use this in pvp so again the, the stats are, are like what the fuck ever to me um the only reason i'm going for the adept is because of the adept mods but at the same time like I just i don't know there's just so much there's so much things that i have to think about before i even try to go for that but it doesn't even matter because this week i think it's plug one so at that point whatever but yeah unfortunately plug one is like decent it's a decent uh fusion rifle i've used it in pve and it's fine it's just that fusion rifles need a buff hung jury is bad because scout rifles are bad so it would be great if this got bumped up or we got better maps and or both would be great honestly and Izumi is the only one where I'm like, literally, I want triple tap and Vorpal weapon and or high impact reserves. And then I want to see if I want to get the adept version so that way I can bump up the magazine up to like seven. Because I think I could get it up to seven because, again, Pendant Mag is going to give you one most likely. Plus, your backup mag is going to give you another one, which means you have six bullets. If you put the adept backup mag, then you might get seven. If that's the case, then it's going to be better than frozen orbit because frozen orbit with all of that included it's going to give you five bullets uh the only difference is that it's it does more high damage so at that point i want to see it if it's even worth it but yeah that's my thought process when it comes to this let me know your thoughts in the comments below i appreciate you coming up to this point uh if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help the channel it helps me uh see what you guys like and what you guys don't like so i really would appreciate you guys just helping me out there so be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later